stranding in the round is pretty easy and we're starting with a very easy pattern, diagonal stripes. They're easy to memorize, it's easy to look at your knitting and see where the next stitch should be. First of all, we need to learn how to hold our yarn though. So you're already knitting in your usual method and whichever your usual method is, is the right method. If you are a thrower, which is sometimes called English or um, American style, it means you're throwing the yarn with your right hand, we'll teach you to hold the second yarn in your left hand. If you already hold your yarn in the left hand like I do, which is called continental, we'll train you to hold your second color in your left hand also. So let's get started. So if you hold your yarn in your right hand, which it doesn't matter which way you hold it in your right hand, I do it this way. I'm not very good at it. Um, there's many other ways to hold it in your right hand. Whatever way you use is right. We're gonna train you to hold the second color in your left hand. So how I set up my hand is to use like scissors and I put the yarn between my index finger and my middle finger and then I just turn my hand. If I need more tension, I put it through my ring and my little finger. And then the tension is created between my index finger and the needle. So you put your needle through the stitch, you scoop it around the back, you pull it back through the stitch, and then off the needle. And there's a rhyme. In through the front door, once around the back, peek through the window and off jumps Jack. So I've done two stitches with my left hand and now I'll just do my usual right hand or your usual right hand method. Then I'm back to my left hand again and resume in through the front door, once around the back, peek through the window, off jumps Jack. You'll probably need to keep practicing with your left hand. I suggest knitting some boring stockinette stitch and do it with some movie without subtitles and sit down and just practice simple knitting with your new hand. By the end of the movie or the end of your ball of yarn, you'll know exactly what to do and you'll have, your hand will know it without having to think about it. Now let's look at if you hold both colors in your left hand or you're a natural continental knitter. Actually, I'm still gonna keep the yarn here. So in this case, as we know, it's the same way of holding the yarn. Normally I hold it between, I hold the pattern color between my index finger and my middle finger. And now I'm gonna introduce the second color. I will put it between my middle finger and my ring finger. And this keeps the yarn separated enough that they're easy to pick. So again, I can, re I can let's start with my background color now. So I'll have two stitches of the dark color, and now I'm doing two stitches of the light color, which is a pattern color. And it's the same method. You're just going to have to train to hold that second color, but you can see how quickly and easily it goes. It's really fun. And that's all there is to it. Now just remember, it's going to feel awkward at first. You may have to keep letting go of your hand and repositioning your yarns. Another thing to do instead of the tendency, I guess in your left hand is to keep moving this index finger out and then the, the yarn gets all floppy. So instead of setting your hands up each time, you can just pull the ends down here to tighten it up. You wanna keep the tension between the needle and your finger. And it feels funny at first, but with practice, you'll get it. <laughs>